Good morning. Good morning. I'm Reverend Lucille Fritz in the Huntington Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Shelton, Connecticut, where no matter who you are, no matter where you are in life's journey, you are more than welcome here. I'd just like to remind folks that next week uh, will be our honoring our deceased loved ones service. So if you have someone you would like me to mention, please let me know. Please put it in writing because you know if you say it to me, after worship today, I'm not going to remember. So please uh, give it to me in writing. If you'd like to include last names, it's fine. Uh, but uh, we're trying to keep a little bit of uh, privacy since this is a very public service with uh, it being live streamed. So, uh, but please let me know. Those of you who are here and those of you who are watching virtually, please let me know if there's anyone you would like me to mention. Also, we are taking an offering for a uh, schooner house a food offering for Spoiler House. There is a box in our alcove and also one up in the uh, fellowship hall, um, our, our normal wishing well, which we do use. So if you have anything that you would like to donate uh, for Spoiler House, they're running low. And what they do need is shelf stable milk, powdered milk, pancake mix, syrup, peanut butter jelly, canned fruit and applesauce, garbanzo and navy beans, canned tuna and canned chicken, oatmeal and other cereals, cereals, uh, and pasta sauce. So please, uh, we'll keep that in there as long as we need to, so please be generous. Also, our Pumpkin and Holly Fair is coming up on Friday, November 19th at 5.30 and Saturday, November 20th at 9.30 a.m. Uh, for those of you who would like to volunteer and help out, please watch for the sign of genius, genius that will be coming out uh, for signups for that. So thank you for everything. Also, uh, thank you to, I believe, Women's Fellowship for the lovely flowers for Clergy Appreciation Month. Uh, purple is my favorite color, and I do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you very much. So let's just take a moment to close our eyes, take nice deep breaths, and center our thoughts on God. Breathe in the love of God and breathe out hate. <coughs> breathe in the peace of God and breathe out discord. Breathe in the hope of God and breathe out despair. Breathe deeply. Feel the presence of God in you, through you, and around you.
For those who are able, please stand and join me in the call to worship found in your bulletin. The Holy One is here in this community of faith. Praise our God and Let us bless the Holy Name forever and ever. Praise our God and praise you praise. Let us meditate on God's wondrous works. Praise our God and praise Let us bless and praise God's name forever and ever. Great is our God, and greatly to be praised. Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, reading verses 56 through 52. 46 through 52. Listen for the word of God. They came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, 
Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Come here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. May God have a blessing to the hearing and reading of these holy words. Let us pray. Gracious God, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. For a blind man, it seems that Bartimaeus saw very well. He didn't see with his eyes, but he saw with his heart. He heard about Jesus from the people who passed him by as he sat begging. He heard the stories of Jesus healing and his preaching. He heard the stories of Jesus' great compassion, great mercy, and great love. And he saw, he saw Jesus. In this day and age, there was no help for people who had a disability. There was no SSI. There were no homes or institutions. If you were blind and your family did not want to take care of you, you were left out on the streets. And Bartimaeus found himself out on the street. And yet his life there was one of obviously listening. Listening to people. He probably got all the gossip in Jerusalem, actually Jericho. He probably heard all the stories. I'm sure he probably had to stifle a laugh or a groan or a curse about the things that he heard. But the most important thing that he obviously heard was about Jesus, and he trusted in what he heard. He saw Jesus before probably a lot of people saw Jesus. Even people with 20-20 vision. Because he saw with his heart. He believed. He believed that Jesus would do something miraculous. And even before the people who heard Jesus calling to him said to him, take heart. He already took heart in the promise of Jesus Christ. And if you notice in this passage, it wasn't a passive taking heart. He just didn't sit there hoping that Jesus might notice him. He didn't sit there hoping that Jesus would take pity on him if he just brushed up in a ball. Instead, he cried out. He was proactive in looking for help, in asking for healing. Because he took part in the compassion and healing power of Jesus Christ. How many of us see with our hearts? How many of us trust that Christ will work in our lives with perhaps no visible support? Bartimaeus did just that. He listened. He trusted. 
and he was healed. He was brought back to fullness. His eyes were opened. We know in our own lives, in our own personal experiences, and in the experiences of people around us, we know that sometimes our pleading for healing doesn't always work the way we want it to work. We know that people still get ill. We know that people still suffer. We know that people do die. Even though we pray fervently for healing. And yet when we see with our hearts, we know that that's not necessarily a failure of our prayers or of our faith or of God or of Jesus. We know that that is the way of our life. And when our eyes, the heart of our eyes are truly open, we can see the truth in all of that, that Christ is with us. The power of God walks with us, even in the midst of sickness, suffering, and death. That's where our hearts are what, are what gives us vision. That we can see beyond the here and the now. We can see beyond the suffering and pain and death. And we can know that God is. That God is with us. That Christ will comfort us. That the Spirit wraps us in its loving arms. It's with our hearts that we see that truth. It's with our hearts that we know the promises that God has made for us. Promises for eternal love. Promises for eternal life. And so may we be like Bartimaeus, trusting our hearts, not just our eyes, knowing that we can call out to Christ, and Christ will answer us. Thanks be to God. Amen. In a time of silence, let us take a moment and hold in our hearts the people who we know are in need of comforting, healing, strength, and hope. Let us be in silent prayer. Oh, holy God, we know that our world is full of suffering. We know that our world is filled with injustice and violence and death, and sometimes it can cloud our eyes. Help us to see the beauty of your creation around us. Help us to see the wonder, the changing of the leaves. Help us to feel that crispness in the air. Help us to look at the people around us who love us and support us with new eyes of appreciation. Appreciation for people who love us and support us, and appreciation for people who teach us and challenge us. Help us to look with new eyes to the possibilities around us. 
how you are working and moving in ways that perhaps only our hearts can recognize. Help us to truly take advantage of the joys, birthdays, and anniversaries, the anticipation of the holidays. Help us to feel and know, not just with our eyes and our ears, but truly with our hearts and with our souls that you are a God who loves, that you are a God who heals maybe in ways that we don't quite understand, that you are a God who equips us to work in this life to help this world be a better place. So we come to you, gracious God, now with our prayers of concern. As we offer our thanks and praise, we also offer you our petitions. We pray for comfort for those who are mourning. We pray for healing for those who are sick. We pray for hope for those who are seemingly in hopeless situations. We pray for justice where there is injustice. We pray for peace where there is war and conflict and violence. And we pray that you would put in us all resilience, a resilience that trusts in your presence a resilience that keeps us going, a resilience to begin and to build again and again and again. So gracious God, may you continue to open our eyes and to open our hearts to the assurance of your love. May you continue to open our eyes and to open our hearts to the movement of your Holy Spirit working in us. May you continue to open our eyes and our hearts to the ways in which we can reach out with help, with words of kindness, with acts of justice. Help us in our own way be healing and hope to our community and to our world. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We are so grateful for everyone, for all the generosity of time, talents, and treasures that keep our community of faith here as a witness to Christ in this place and in this time. We thank everyone who opens their hearts and their wallets. We thank everyone who continues to support with their prayers. We thank everyone. And we dedicate all our gifts, the gifts of our hands, the gifts of our lips, all our gifts we dedicate to God. Let us pray. O oh, holy God, we thank you for everything you have given us, and we ask that you bless what we offer to you. May it be a sign of our devotion and our faith, and may it make changes in our world for the better. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
well as our hands to see and feel and know the glory of God all around us. And may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God look upon you with kindness and give you peace. Amen. Please be seated. Thank uh you. -huh.